Prince Harry would discreetly sneak off to his future wife's Canadian condo when they were first dating, according to a royal expert. Meghan Markle married Prince Harry in May last year, and had their first child, Archie Harris and Mountbatten Windsor this spring. The royal couple met on a blind date in London, set up through a mutual friend, in July 2016. By November 2017, they were engaged, but did not go public with their relationship until a year before. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who used to live in Kensington Palace with Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton, now live in Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. They often come under criticism for breaking royal tradition and shirking the spotlight. The couple recently refused the Queen's invitation to visit her Scottish property in Balmoral for her annual holiday, with Meghan jetting off to watch her best friend Serena Williams play in the women's final of the US Open instead. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex often attempt to maintain a level of secrecy around their relationship, but at the beginning of their romance they went to additional lengths to conceal it. In 2019 Amazon Prime documentary, Harry and Meghan, when two became three, entertainment reporter Ashley Pearson said their courting days were behind closed doors. Ms. Pearson said, Harry made several surreptitious visits to Meghan's condo in Toronto. He would come and go and really nobody figured out who he was, and Meghan was being secretly brought over her, stayed with him in Kensington Palace, and again, no one was the wiser. Ms. Pearson suggested maintaining this privacy only strengthened their relationship. She said, they were used to spending a lot of evenings at home having home-cooked meals because they couldn't go out to restaurants. But I think the intimacy of their early days when they were forced to spend a lot of time at home contributed to their close connection and bond. She added, they knew early on it was going to be a lifelong romance, but they were very cautious and they tried to keep it under the radar to make sure before they went public. The documentary emphasized the two were initially reluctant to share their relationship because of the possible consequences if they announced it too early in their romance. They knew it was likely to become high profile and so if they broke up, it would continue to haunt them, Ms. Pearson explained. The reporter also believes they moved out of Kensington Palace because they wanted to maintain some semblance of normalcy. Harry and Meghan wanted to be removed from the scrutiny that comes with living in London with the heir to the throne, the Duke of Cambridge and the Duchess of Cambridge. A rumoured fallout between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with his brother and Kate Middleton is believed to have motivated the move too. Their secrecy even extended to the birth of their son, Archie, earlier this year. The couple told the press Meghan was in labour once the baby was already born, and, breaking royal tradition, waited until Archie was a few days old before posing for pictures as a new family. Meghan and Harry are hoping to raise their new son as a private citizen and so did not give him a title upon birth. The 38-year-old former actress, who rose to fame through the American series Suits, celebrated her three-year relationship anniversary with Prince Harry this summer. They dashed off to Ibiza for her birthday this year, taking their young son with them. The pair will also celebrate the Duke of Sussex's birthday this weekend, when he turns 34.